Uh, Mr. Uh, City Attorney, uh, well, let's go ahead and move on to special one. Did you have an announcement? Uh, yes, thank you. So uh, a motion has been um, introduced for special one that states the uh, findings um, and the need to act. So we should first vote on the findings to take up the resolution. That's per government code 54954.2. Uh, we'll then take any public comment, and then we can vote on the resolution itself. So the first thing is voting on the findings, ahead, unless members want to talk in advance. Let's go ahead and vote on the findings. Let's open the roll. Close the roll and tabulate the vote. Twelve ayes, one no. We've got a couple of cards on this item. Ms. Ms. Ramirez, are you still here? Antonia Ramirez, not here. Special one. Eric Previn, special one, sir. Thank you, it's Eric Previn, and I do not understand why this couldn't wait for a publicized agenda like tomorrow. Uh, it's true what you say that I think the, the president has declared an emergency and Congress is trying to stop it and then they're saying that the president may veto it. But what you're asking for here is to join a lawsuit with the state of California. Okay, but what is the budget? Why is it not okay for the public who are not happen to be down here being disenfranchised by Fallbull, who don't happen to be here? Why are they not included in this? By pulling it out of a Vox uh, breast pocket and hiding it under the shadow of the, the rim by your board, you are violating the public's trust. We expect these things to be brought out into the daylight so we can all weigh in. I mean, you know, I think, you know, I'm supportive of a lot of the work you do, but I'm not supportive of these draconian violations of the open government laws. And Fable, you ought to step down because you've really crossed the line. Trying to suggest that I would disrupt this meeting is not going to be okay with hashtag okay, Bloomingfield's you're, notes. You're off topic, no, I'm not Mr. off topic. Yeah, yeah, you're off topic. I disagree. I just came from the uh, appellate court where we had Thank a favorable much, ruling, ruling down, against you your over. very body for Thank this exact much, kind Mr. of conduct. So Mr. Previn, you you're welcome. You're disrupting my Mr. Previn has been and do asking. it as quietly as possible. Please remove him. Don't even think and he's continuing to disrupt the meeting. No. Okay, let's go ahead and vote on special one. Let's open the roll. Close the roll. Uh, repeated warnings, Ms. Martinez. 13 minutes. Please leave the room. And Madam President, there is a request that there's to send repeated report. warnings that have been put Mr. on record. You can go leave by the council chair. Norman Martinez, please stand up, sir. Don't touch me. Sir, I can, I'm the police officer. Council I'm asking you to leave. I'm going to call the ACLU. Okay. I'm calling the ACLU. Okay, that's fine. No, you don't touch me. That's, you get off of me. You get away from me. Do not even touch me. The has been asked. They just closed the meeting. Mr. Previn, you've been removed from this meeting. Please leave council chambers now. There you go. Let's go, Don't make sir. a big deal. The meeting's already you over. Mr. Yourself. You were repeatedly warned. You were asked to leave quietly. You were refusing to do it, and you're disrupting the meeting yeah. by our having it's to take our time dealing with you. Please leave the meeting. Make a good case. Make a good case before I put the handcuffs on him. I want to make a good case. That way, when I get called right, to sorry. testify, because he's going to have a use of force, I guarantee you. Please stand up. Wait, give him, make sure and give him warning first, and then we'll tell you and that just, we're going to put handcuffs on you. And if you make any attempt that believes us that you're going to be resisting in any, in any way, we're going to use any type of force necessary to put you into custody. Mr. Previn, do you understand? No, I don't understand. You're out. You're, you're all in trouble. Violation of my rights. And now he's making noise as he finally leaves. Okay, let's all rise for adjourning motions, please. Are there any adjourning motions on my right? Mr. Kokori? Yes. 